This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says, what is the volume in cubic inches of a shoebox with a length of 10 inches, a width of 6 inches, and a height of 5.5 inches? So again, on the ASVAB and PiCat, you're not permitted to use a calculator or reference sheet. So in addition to being able to do these calculations by hand, you also have to have these basic formulas memorized. Again, we're talking about a shoebox, which is in the shape of a rectangular prism. You find the volume of a rectangular prism by doing length times width times height. What is the length of our shoebox? It's 10 inches. What is its width? It's six inches. And what is its height? It's five and one half inches. This first part's very easy to do. 10 times six is 60, so this becomes 60 times five and a half. Now this is where most people would get stuck. How are we gonna do 60 times five and a half? Well, the easiest way to do it is to convert five and a half to an improper fraction by doing five times two plus one. Five times two is 10 plus one is 11. So five and a half is the same thing as 11 over two. I can also write 60 as a fraction by placing it over one. 60 divided by one is 60. In doing so, this enables me to cross reduce. More specifically, I can say two goes into two one time, two goes into 60 30 times. This becomes 30 over one, which is 30, times 11 over one, which is 11. And so as not to make a mistake on this part, I'm gonna do 30 times 11 off to the side. Uh, zero times one is zero, three times one is three, add a zero placeholder. One times zero is zero, one times three is three. This is gonna be 330, so the volume of this shoebox is gonna be D, 330 cubic inches.